Hey, what's up, guys? It's Brando with Brando Sports World here. We are on team number 77 of my top 100 college football teams of the 2022 football season. And today we're doing the Memphis Tigers. This is going to be an interesting one because last year they were 6-6. Six and six. That was their record. Um, I'm curious to see how they, they do overall. They obviously have had recent success, uh, though they've had up and down seasons more uh, recently. But yeah, heading into the first week is an away game against an SEC opponent. It's a Mississippi State Bulldogs. I uh, think this will be a pretty close game. It'll kind of show where you guys are at overall. A uh, good test to start the season, but I think you guys end up dropping this one just because it's a away game. Um, but I don't think that's very telling of, of how you guys are going to do overall for the entire uh, spectrum of the season, if you will. The very following week is an away game at Navy. Um Navy, uh, kind of a tough team, but I think that you guys should handle your business. It is an away game, so anything's possible. You guys are starting the season off against two away games, getting that out of the way. Uh, but you win one of those. You win against Navy, so you're one and one heading into the following week, week three. The very following week is against Arkansas State, an easy out of conference opponent that shouldn't be too many, uh, give you too many issues. So you don't have to get any gray hairs over it. You guys win this one. You're two and one heading into the f fourth week. Excuse me. Fourth week is a game against North Texas. This is not the Texas Longhorns. This is not the TCU Horn Frogs. Though they are the Fighting Mean Green, I think you guys uh, have no issues with these guys, and I think you win this one, three and one. The very next week is a home game against Temple. Uh, this is against the Owls. It's a home game, like I said. Normally, you'd have an away game around this point, but you guys got your first two out of the season or out of the way right away from the get go. Um, this might be an interesting game. I think Temple gets uh, somewhat close by the middle of the third. Uh, by the end of the third or the early fourth, I think you guys kind of pull away with a 10, 13, maybe 14 point victory at this point. Um, but yeah, how do you guys win in that one? The very following week is a game against Houston. Home game for you, but very tough nevertheless. Houston, uh, a lot of people are pretty high on. Um, I'm somewhat high on them too. I think this is going to be a great game, and I think this uh, helps that it's a home game for you. Um, unfortunately, I have you losing a close one here. Um, so got you guys losing uh, to Houston here. Four and two heading into the following week. The very next week is an away game at the Pirates, the East Carolina Pirates. Um this is going to be a pretty decently close game. I'm a little high on East Carolina. A lot of people don't talk about East Carolina. Uh, I, I poke and prod through the, through their uh, some of their articles and stuff like that. And I kind of like what I'm hearing, what they're bringing back. Um, I got you guys losing this one. And it's mostly because it's an away game. It really is. You guys have a more of a name brand type of team out of this conference. But I, I think this is a game where you end up dropping the ball and become four and three. Now, it sounds scary, but there's a lot of good stuff to come here. The very next week, uh, you will play an away game at Tulane. I think that you guys learned your lesson on the road here. Um, definitely have some interesting back-to-back -back road games. This is the second back-to-back -back road uh, road game you guys have had in several weeks. I think you guys easily beat this guy, these teams, though. Or this team, Tulane. I think you guys beat them. You're 5-3 and three, heading into the very next week. It's a bye week and much needed. We need one more win for you guys, uh, making you bowl eligible and tying your record that you had of 6-6 six and six in 2021. The next week is a home game against UCF, one of the tougher teams, obviously, out of this conference. Um, I think this will be pretty close, maybe in the, begin till the beginning, the first half, but the start of the second half, I think UCF kind of pulls away here. Um, I think they'll have their poop in a group a little bit further down this road than you guys will. Uh, that's not to say that you aren't going to get it together. However, I have you guys losing this one against the UCF Golden Knights, so you're 5-4 and four heading into Week 10. Week 10... Home game at Tulsa. I don't think it's going to give you guys too many problems. I really don't. Um, you guys are going to win this game. Six and four, and you become bowl eligible. You guys fought your battles pretty tough at this point. Uh, you already matched your win total from last year. So heading into week 11, it's a home game at North Alabama. Uh, might be close the first quarter. It won't be close the second, third, or fourth. And I easily have you guys winning this game, becoming seven and four, and breaking through that six and six season from a year ago. The following week is an away game at SMU. Little high on SMU, I am. But I think you guys win this one on the road, finishing the season strong with a couple wins. They're three wins, actually. Uh, so yeah, I have you guys beating the Ponies. You're eight and four. Uh, solid season. I don't think it's anything to complain about. 
you know, you're going to want a 9-3, and 10-2 and two type of season. But, I mean, you're really going to want to be 12-0. and 0, Let's be honest here. But 8-4, and four, respectable. It's something that you can appreciate. Um, and it's a much better improvement than that 6-6 six and six from 2021, making you guys bowl eligible. And you'll get a solid bowl with that, too. So, yeah, guys, that was team number 77, the Memphis Tigers of my top 100 college football teams of 2022. Please like, subscribe, comment down below. Let's talk a little bit more football. Uh, appreciate you guys tuning in if you made it this far, and I'll hopefully catch you guys on the next video. Thank you.